Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, we got clouds, rain, about 50. Tomorrow, sunny and 50. Yay! Tonight, Drew Baldridge, Mulcahy's, moles.com, M-U-L-S.com. What a great way to start the weekend, right? Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to see some of our fine listeners out there uh, tonight. Going to be uh, absolutely a lot of fun. Now, we have a lot to get into, but I want to touch on quickly a story you mentioned uh, towards the end of the 7 o'clock hour. And you talked about the orca whale killing the shark. And tell us what you saw, Candy. Well, I mean, the or I don't know how fast they can go, but I'm assuming very, very fast. And it comes from nowhere at like a speed of lightning and gr- knocks that shark, just breaks its ribs. I mean, you could see the force of that and dominates it, killed it, mm. no trouble whatsoever. Right. Um, So I saw this same article about a week ago that you're talking about, and you got me going with it. And I wish so I don't have it in front of me, so I cannot read this word for word verbatim like this. So I'd I'd love to get you the full scientific definition of what's going on, but I'm going to paraphrase if that's okay for you. All right. So the person who wrote this article showed the same story and video and pictures of what you just said that single orca defeating a shark within seconds right like crazy okay and then goes on to talk about how the seas the oceans our environment is changing because orcas only used to kill and search and hunt in pods and families they they are not uh loners they are not like you know single animals right going around the ocean looking for kills. But recently, orcas have been uh, going by themselves and taking on other animals. And this, by the way, has taken sharks and other animals and pushed them towards other parts of the ocean and the world. And you know how you see a lot of sharks are coming up to shore recently? Yeah, I don't like that either. Right? So there's like a whole thing. It's not just... Oh, look, this orca killed this shark. There's a whole story about how... Wow, scary. Yeah, it's changing. Every, and eventually, a thousand years from now, that orca is going to grow legs and walk up on the beach and snatch <laughs> you right off the beach. <laughs> it's going to happen. I hope I happen. live to see that day. Wow, can you imagine? Yeah. But I'm, I'm being serious that... Yeah. The, our, our waters are changing, and orcas never hunt alone, and now they are hunting alone. Well, it's a whole it was, thing. It was incredible to see that, like, whoa, and whoa, and whoa. Yeah. Uh, it's a crazy world, that science world out there. It is. You know? I love it. Yeah. Um, I got some new foods for you. Okay, what are they? How about Hidden Valley? This sounds amazing. Hidden Valley just announced... For National Ranch Day on March 10th, in Walmart and Kroger stores, it is releasing Cheez-It-flavored ranch dressing. No, thank you. What? You don't know? No. Cheez-It-flavored ranch dressing? First of all, let me say I'm not that big a fan of ranch dressing to begin with. Mm -hmm. I take blue cheese dressing over ranch any day of the week. But cheese it? No. Mm-mm. no. This is their quote. It's very funny. When we caught wind of the combining the irresistible flavors of Hidden Valley Ranch with Cheese It, we were blown away. We couldn't be more thrilled to make this dream collaboration a reality. Well, what's the next? French fries? I know people who dip their French fries in ranch dressing. I know people that put ranch dressing on everything. Well, so <laughs> are they going to make a flavor to go with that? I'm going to give you something else that is similar to what you're saying. This one I guarantee you're going to be into. Grilled cheese flavored tomato soup. Now, I want the grilled cheese on the side and the tomato soup and dipping the sandwich. I don't want to just, no. Mm -mm. You know, you know, maybe all the issues over there aren't Brian. Maybe. (laughs) It's a little bit of you, huh? I'm sorry. 
Grilled cheese flavored tomato soup. You wouldn't try that. I would taste it, but that's not what I'm looking for. I want the textures. I love the melted cheese and the bread, and then you soak, put it in the tomato soup, and the mmm, mmm, mmm. That's what I want. <laughs> okay. Uh, and last one for you, Candy. They're called not hot dogs. They are plant-based meat hot dogs, different than veggie dogs. The parent company, Kraft Heinz, has a plant-based offshoot now called The Knot Company, and they're selling not sausages and not oh, hot dogs. That I think? would try. That I would totally try. So you're I into love that. hot dogs, and I try not to eat them. And if I had a healthier choice and they tasted as good, I'd be all in. Right, because they might be the worst food there is for might you. Might be. You know, um, vegan cheese. I was a vegan for a number of years, many years ago. I don't know if you've ever tasted vegan cheese. No. Not good. No. It's better to just not even eat cheese if you got to eat the vegan cheese. It's really not that. And I'm sure people will argue and love it. And some, a lot of people do. I'm not one of them. Big difference. Interesting. All right. I'm going to give you another, another thing that's going on in the food world that you may not have noticed. I have recently. Jalapenos are less spicy than they used to be. Now, that's interesting because I was talking to this man in the fruit where I go get fruit and vegetables, and he said that it's all the way you pick them. If you want a really hot jalapeno, pick a wrinkled one, not one that's all shiny and new. Mm, that makes sense. Okay, I get that. Yeah. Uh, even the jalapeno is shrinking in fear because of how hot it is. I understand. Right. Um, Candy, farmers, allegedly, how the story goes, farmers did it on purpose over the past 40 years because oh. food companies wanted milder peppers to make the spice level more consistent and predictable in their foods. So jalapenos over the years have gotten less spicy. And I feel like when I get nachos, and it could be any Mexican place, pick any place, I will, I don't put a lot of jalapenos. I put one here and one there, and I find they're not that spicy so there's something going on here yeah with jalapenos. i would agree with you now yeah. stop playing with mother nature she doesn't like it yeah give she... <laughs> me back my spicy jalapenos i think i think you're right i think there's something there for sure uh candy it's national flapjack day i know we both discussed we don't love pancakes now what's the difference between a flapjack and a pancake is there a difference I let me johnny go cakes. take a look i know johnny cakes are made with corn that i do know but a flapjack and a pancake, is there a difference? Is it the mm. same thing? What's what? I'm on paragraph three, and I oh, don't well, see... Oh, well, this could take all day. I don't see the answer. Uh, it's not so, that important. No. Uh, it's National Hospitalist Day. These are more than 60,000 people that manage patient care throughout hospitals. And we thank them. We need yes. them. Yes. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for uh, taking care of everybody. National Crown Roast of Pork Day today. Wow, that's okay. an effort. I'm never I'll take doing it. that. Yeah, Whatever. I'll eat it, put it in front of me, but that's, yeah, that's fancy. fancy. Somebody make it, sure. Um, it's National Cereal Day today. Do you know Brian cannot go to bed without eating a bowl of cereal every night? Um... Yeah, that's I. It, I guess you know. I was gonna say that's a little strange, but no, I think I could see that. A lot of people, I think, do that. Yeah, he loves his cereal. Okay, that's fine. It's like a. It's almost like a dessert, little snack for you at the end. I of the barely night. eat cereal anymore. So another thing right. I'm staying away from. Yeah, I'm not a cereal guy. No, um, it's National Be Heard Day. This is for small businesses. They're supposed to go into the spotlight and be heard today. Lovely, I love that. And it's National Slam the Scam Day, where you're not supposed to fall for those scams, all different scams that are that are and out there. And there's a lot of them, and I heard of one. Well, they'll give you, you know, like whatever. You know that it's already like a spam call or whatever. And don't just say yes. Never just say yes on a call you're not certain of because they're taking that yes and they're using it to scam you. Oh, listen, that is, and by, I'm not saying this to make fun of you or make you laugh or anything. That that whole thing about don't say the word yes is an old, like, I remember that tip from Well, over, I'm reminding you again. Yeah. Yes, don't, you're not supposed to speak and give positive uh, feedback because they could take your voice right. and they could use it for things. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, but, you know, you're supposed to, a lot of them come through texts now and you can uh, report it, delete it, report it and all that. And yeah, it's a, it's a wild world. There's a guy, there's a guy on TikTok. There's probably a few of them. I uh, forget his page name, but he uh, calls scammers like he like live. He goes live and he calls the scammers and tries to get them shut down. It's like a whole oh, thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Candy, some good news before we get out of here. Late payment fees for major credit cards won't be nearly as high anymore. Federal, uh, federal regulators just capped it at $8, down from the average of $32. That is really good news. So a lot of people, not me, I've been in that position, though. You know, they use credit cards, and then they get in a big jam, and it really is hard to pay them off. And yes. I had to do that um, in my college days is when I got bit on the butt with that. Take out a loan, pay them all off, stay away from the credit cards. But people really struggle, and I think that's a great thing. I'm happy to hear that. A guy in Kentucky hit the lottery for 150000 and says it's the first time in his life he'll be completely debt-free, and he's going to spend the rest of 2024 fishing. Yay! Now that's <laughs> the best thing I've heard. He should only take you fishing. That's all I have to say on that. That's just, let me bait a hook just once, just once. Oh, I have got to get you with my boys and fishing and see you bait a hook. Oh, that uh, would just make my day. We're going to, here's what we're going to, we're going to rent a charter, right? Yes. A, like a boat, okay? It's going to be your boys, uh, me, you know, my fa whoever from my family wants to go, okay? You know who's going to come you from your family? Yeah. The cool. artist known as Tony. All right, we'll get him on board. Uh, we're going to bring Barbecue Tom tennis nick my buddy yes. josh right we're gonna uh well dj deuce will have to come because brian gonna, will have to come he loves fishing. brian's gotta come De deuce will be there as part of the family but we also need some entertainment so we're gonna have deuce this spin is a fantastic <laughs> idea now casey might say you know you're distracting the fish they're not gonna bite if you're playing loud music now be quiet and you know give me my space to fish but we'll see that's a great idea I think we should all right that. we got to make a list of, of who gets on this uh, charter yes. all right yes uh, a woman in michigan got into a fender bender and her dog a three-year-old pitbull mix aries jumped out and ran away oh all right she got a call a short time later after aries ran straight to her doggy daycare okay that's the cutest thing ever a mile away, the dog runs to the daycare, and she got a call. Uh, your dog is, is here at our front door. Love it. That is Wild. so cute. And last one. The Bellagio in Las Vegas turned off its famous fountains on Tuesday to help out what they called one of their most exclusive guests, one of the rarest birds in the U.S., a yellow-billed loon decided oh. to take up shop there oh. officials officials had to go in and get it so they shut the fountains officials went into the fountains got the yellow billed loon relocated the loon and now the fountains are back on crazy loon yeah i love that story i love that they did that that speaks volumes all right time to go ryan and amanda thank you our great producers candy have a great rest of your day you too, sir, and we'll gather back here for Friday. I'll see a bunch of people out at Mulcahy's tonight. Still got some tickets left, moles.com, or walk up tonight, grab a ticket. Drew Baldridge, big fun time. We'll see you there. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.